Welcome to Sky in Space, the facts about Luna. Earth's only satellite, the Moon, which is estimated to be slightly younger than the Earth at around 4.5 billion years old. However, some put it to be much older than the Earth, maybe by even millions of years. The Moon's chemical composition consists of silica, alumina, lime, iron, magnesia, titanium dioxide and sodium oxide. Helium-3 is also something that is very abundant on the Moon and is on the cards to becoming a very important fuel for the future in many areas, including space travel. This is leaving the door firmly open for future mining of the Moon. For as long as there have been humans on Earth, we have marvelled at the Moon and its four main phases, from the first quarter to the full Moon, last quarter to the new Moon. Each has its own significance in each and every culture, old or new. It also creates tidal flow in the seasons, and without the moon, life on Earth may well have turned out very different. The moon is tidally locked, or has a synchronous rotation, meaning that it matches the Earth's rotation exactly, and only ever shows one side to Earth, leaving a mysterious far side that we Earthlings never get to see. As if this isn't amazing and anomalous enough, the Moon sits at an average 384,400 kilometres from Earth, and because the Sun is conveniently 400 times the lunar distance and 400 times the diameter of the Moon, they appear at exactly the same size during an eclipse. This is the only place this happens in our entire solar system. Our Moon is over 70 times larger and only has a quarter of the mass that it should have for a naturally occurring satellite making this an abnormality in at least our planetary system. The equatorial radius is 1,737.1 kilometers, which is 0.273 of Earth's, and the polar radius is 1,738.1 kilometers, which is 0.273 of Earth's. Maybe this is all just chance and coincidence. The surface temperature reaches as high as 390 Kelvin on the equator, and as low as 100 Kelvin when not exposed to direct sunlight. For centuries there have been reports from noted sky watchers of strange lights and flashes on the moon. Positively charged particles of lunar dust may be lofted up to many kilometers above the moon's surface. They then fall back to the surface to start this cycle all over again. This process has become known as electrostatic levitation or moon fountains and creates an electrically charged environment. Lunar dust will literally cling to anything it touches. On December the 14th 1972, after a 75 hour long lunar mission, Commander Eugene Kernan and his crew lifted off from the surface and docked with the command module. This would be the last official manned mission to the moon. No one has returned since. Thanks for watching. This is Sky in Space.